No one looked like them. No one sounded like them. Although through the years, many have tried. Sonny and Cher were simply cool. Their show, silly, quirky, and incredibly watchable. The Sonny and Cher show, we really had such a good time doing it. It was hard work, but we really loved it. It was so loose. There wasn't, it was so, the leeway in it was goofing around, you know? When you watch those old Sonny and Cher clips, what goes through your mind? When Sonny died, I had occasion to go through all of the clips because I was doing that special about us and really about him. And, you know, it's like, it's like watching a little brother and sister. It's really weird. It's like watching someone that's not really you now, but you remember it. After Sonny's tragic death last year, Cher says she was devastated, even though the two had been divorced for years. At his funeral, it was her eulogy that touched most. So we were definitely a marriage made in heaven. She says she lost a part of herself and the man who really made the Sonny and Cher phenomenon. I really only wanted to, I wanted to perform. I didn't really want to know about the other part of it. I just never did. And he was the one that was the planner. He had the ideas. I had a really hard time because I was really shy, and so he made it all you know, totally easy for me. He would get a kick out of this with you right now, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All this is this. Do you believe in life after love? Yes, Cher is back. You can't turn on pop radio without hearing her single Believe Everywhere. And Cher herself has been everywhere selling it. It's so... It's great to have a song that everybody loves. And, it, and, I, and I really like it too, and it's really up, and so it, it's good, you know? There's no, there's no downside on this at all, except working. Work, being everywhere at once is, is the only thing that's hard for me. And you have been everywhere. Oh yes, I'm somewhere else right now, I'm sure of it. Super Bowl week, she popped up everywhere in South Florida, including Pro Player Stadium, where she sang the national anthem. a great comeback for a woman who in recent years was suffering from Epstein-Barr syndrome. It was really difficult for me to really do much work and you know, it was just a, it was it was a hard time and it's like the opposite of now. It happens in your life. Life is that's life. My career is just really representative of, of my life. It's just a mirror image of my life. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. And life is good for you now. Yeah, life is good for me. Yeah. Life is really good for me. I got you, babe. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. God bless you. And soon, Cheryl will be back at the movie. She stars opposite Lily Tomlin and Judi Dench in a comedy to be released next month. And she has another film with Jennifer Aniston. She plays her mother, scheduled for a September release. I'm Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News on the Night Beat.